The hunt begins. You return to the Universal... Your return to the Universal Brotherhood is anything but subtle. The team hits the same back door Coyote found, and you storm through, quickly making your way into the restricted area and the room where you last met Jessica, and first encountered the bug. You stand there together, listening to the sounds of chittering coming from somewhere distant. Harlequin stares into the darkness, humming tunelessly while fingering the, s the sword on his hip. Then he turns, lifts his Aegis launcher to his lips, and gives it a kiss. You give the signal, and the hunt begins. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna give Harlequin some grenades. He's got that really high strength. Yeah, so what's... Did I miss something? What's the Aegis, Aegis launcher? It, fire, it fires canisters of that uh, anti-bug stuff. Oh, okay. And actually, it's gonna be the only f weapon... I just bought that new cult, and I'm not going to get to use it, because that slot's going to be taken up by, by an Aegis launcher. So actually, my only conventional weaponry is my is what my drones carry. Hmm. So I'm going to be depending on them to see me through this. And... Bring the dock wagon trauma kit... Expert drone repair. Expert drone repair. Premium med kit. Okay. And it's time to rock. And time permitting roll. <laughs> Harlequin. <clears throat> that side door you found last time you were here was helpful. We avoided all those Universal Brotherhood spa cult yahoos. Telestrian was right. You're a real value add. Harlequin grins a wide, predatory grin. Both sets of his pearly white teeth offset... Bo both sets of his pearly white teeth offset by the livid red lipstick around his mouth. Now the fun begins. Wait, I have some questions. Of course you do. <laughs> If you won't tell me who you are, will you at least tell me what you can do? See this sword? Yeah, it looks unusual. Can you tell me more about it? I can stick people with it. Pretty good, too. I also have those one of those Telestrofuir magical bug array eradicating launchers like the rest of you. That's it? Is that, eno is that not enough? Beyond the tattoos that adorn my face, I have another, a recent addition, in a place that only those closest to me will ever see. It is a dragon. Don't tell Hans. Oh, and I'm a powerful mage as well. I forgot that. How do we kill an insect spirit again? Need a little reminder? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, God. He's talking about... You know, he gives you the first two steps? Yeah. Now he mentions the third step. Now, here's the tricky part. If we don't destroy the spirit fast enough, the spirit will re-enter the host, reanimate it, and rejuvenate it back to full health. I call it the three R's of buggery. <laughs> Good old Harlequin. You didn't mention that before. I didn't want to scare you. <laughs> what can we expect to find down there? You know as much as I do on that account. You have actually seen one of those antinomical, synergetic, transviatical dwellers in darkness. I have not. However, based on your recent reconnaissance, I would expect to find deranged cultists, deranged priests, a deranged shaman, and a shit-ton of giant bugs. I'm ready. 
All right. Object new objective. Stop the ceremony. Open this door. Oh, there's some people in here. Brotherhood Gunner. This place is rather ominous looking. There's some skulls, some burning skulls. I'm assuming the clothes this guy is that mate wearing are actually also somehow fashioned from skulls. Anything can be clothes if you wear enough of them. Pretty much. That's what I tell the police anyway. Okay. Alright, coyote. Ooh, there's... Forward. Oh, there, ooh, there's another guy. Oh, two other guys. And here's, I like this sort of weird, like, combination of, like, the supernatural and the high-tech. I mean, like, they've got these computer monitors over here, but then there's, like, these weird mystical diagrams on the ground. Hmm. And you've got, like, this big electronic monitor with what appears to be, like, a diagram of, a, like, a summoning circle or whatever. Well, you need very, it, you uh, need it uh, electronically as well. Very shadow. It's very shadow run. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Ooh, piling up the damage there. Advance. Okay, of course, the nice thing with your melee weapon is you can move and attack. Do? Oh, that, that guy's dead. Okay, let's see what sword skills he's got here. Slash, thrust, cleave, hit more than one target, pommel strike, chi focus, make a two melee, make two melee attacks on one target, increase the chance for critical damage. Chi Onslaught. Make three melee attacks on one target with a m minus 15% to hit. Increases chance for critical damage. Over here. Aim. Heal wound. Mana ball. Quick strike. Stride. Let's activate stride. Let's see. Bit of longer range, let's use the revolver. Alright, another hit. Wait, why did Flandry get a turn there? That was weird. Uh, okay, well now he's okay. Advance. And. Activate drone one. Which now has four AP, thanks to, uh, that karma I used. And, drone two. Nice thing about the aerial drones, they have some pretty impressive mo movement range. And they can still go to the places the regular drones can, right? Yeah, yeah, they have all the same, yeah, they have the same abilities. Alright, Harlequin. I haven't cast aim on himself. Make his sword rampage more effective. 95%, yes. Is that red clap flying around? Oh, oh, I think that's maybe that's just a strength. 99%. He's also got this little ability, um, Quick Strike. It actually, a quick attack it has, it costs zero, a, actually costs zero action points. Hmm. Smack him upside the head. And another victim falls to Harlequin's blade. Burst fire. That's...
Aimed shot. 20. Ninety percent. There's a second him. Okay. So how big is your party again? It's you. Uh, four people. And, and two drones. Okay. Now, you may recall this from when we first made our assault on the Brotherhood. Here's the cage where, uh, Lin where uh, Marie Telestrian was kept. Here's where we, you know, made our escape, and here is where the bugs were coming out of. Deep in the depths of the Brotherhood. And that is where we must now descend. Like Orpheus in a pretentious metaphor. <laughs> okay. Down we go. Dark into the darkness. Into darkness. Yes. With Benedict Cumberbatch. Okay, let's see what we can see. One thing that's cool, you can actually overwatch with a sword if you have the if you have the high enough skill. Huh. If anyone comes into that arc, you'll just ch you'll, you'll just chop them. That's pretty cool. Is that useful though, or would you have to find a choke point? Oh well, that is usually the best way. I mean, that is the most effective thing usually. Is like if you can like if like you like if you lie in wait like beside a door or whatever. And whack a guy as he comes through. That's that's the, that's how I've had luck with it. Very satisfying when you pull it off, though. <laughs> is it repeated Overwatch or is it just the one swing? It's just one swing. I see. Now you notice Flandry actually he had to since he 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 went through that hole a turn later than the others upstairs, so he had to wait a turn down here. Oh. As did his drones. Now, advance. <laughs> Fall back to the elevated one! <laughs> Evening, boys. Harlequin, if you would, if you would do the honors and one oh, critical thirty-two damage and two. That's the end of him. Oh, and, and, and this, this guy, this guy. All right, he can, he can, and he can now get to this guy three for the third attack. Oh, Overwatch missed. Uh -huh. 
And three, critical, 24 damage. Yeah, Harlequin is pretty, pretty tough. Launch a mortar. Missed. Fire again. All right. Oh, 36 damage. Another critical. Getting Critical's constantly here. <laughs> Quite a run of luck so far. 